May 10th, 2021. How's it going, guys? We're going to do a walk in the park. What are we going to talk about today, guys? Not much sunshine out. It's kind of cloudy today. I'm ready for some sunshine to pop out. It was that blue Jeep. It was here yesterday. It's always here. Isn't it something? He pulled in yesterday and I was here. Now, I come at all different times, but I just find that strange. You know, I mean, sure, you if you had a regular, you come here, but you know, if you had a regular, I mean, I'd be like trying to, like, meet, meet up with somebody here. How is that possible? All different times. I don't have no set time I come. I come at 7 in the morning till 8 o'clock at night sometimes. That's just weird. That is strange. I find it very strange. But, you know, X Kansas City. <laughs> it's strange, but they do. What time is it anyway? It is 12 21. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, when I came here, that's about, it was like three hours different. It popped in here yesterday, it's here again today. That's just weird. I don't know. Say eyes open, guys. Let's get on to some more important issues there. You guys get a chance, check out Suspicious Observer. We, uh, we're talking about the sun. Talk about a couple little CMEs there. Nothing major, but to get a chance, check it out. Not affiliated with any other YouTube channel whatsoever. Yeah, we we get yeah, it's pretty cool. That? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. They all tipped the water when I got closer. <laughs> they're they're pretty cool.
What are we going to talk about today? I got to go. <laughs> Let's talk about, you know, they talk about these uh, underground facilities where people would go. How could the, how would the people handle that? Psychological wise. Could they handle that? You know, there's been lots of different thoughts on this. You know, how they talked way back about survival and they talked about it. It takes so many people to be able to do this and that. Well, I don't know about that. I think you would have to have a certain amount of people that could flex all different ways. And you sure wouldn't want any of them smoking weed, doing their drugs and everything else. Would you want to crawl down in a hole in a cave with them? I don't think so. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. But I think you'd have to have somebody that was able be able to stand each individual to be able to have to be able to stand and do their job but also be able to be versed in many different abilities not just one because if you have something like that something did happen to that one person then the chain's broken on the bicycle the bicycle don't run mm. <clears throat> not good I just think people don't think about the whole bigger picture there. You know, it takes certain kinds of people to do certain things. You know, if you think about the Indians, they send a scout out. Or do you think of like a think of like a Texas Ranger that went after a bad guy? Sometimes they didn't have nobody. Else. Sure, sometimes they had a pocket, but uh, sometimes not. It takes a lot. I mean, I think you'd have to have people versed in science, mathematics, medical some, at least some medical training. I look around here at all these people, I'd say the, say the ones that live around me. <laughs> I get to think about all this. Mm, I don't know. And then I look at how they, even when they're doing their bad stuff, how they get in their big quarrels and stuff and fights and stuff. Not good. You put a whole bunch of those people down in a cave. Uh, I'll take my chances above, I think. Unless the meteors are all flying. And then you might go, I'll go to the edge of the cave. <laughs> I got one for you guys. I think of the movie. A while back we watched the movie. And I think it was called, what was it called? The Last Hours? Mm. Was it The Last Hours? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, it's, it's only for adults, really, to watch. But you get a chance, check it out. And uh, it actually depicts how people probably would really be in some what. But it also if people can actually face things or not. You know? And, uh, 
It's worth watching. It's definitely worth watching. And some of them actually come to conclusion that you stand and face everything in the end. Basically, in this, the planet gets pretty much taken out. And there's nothing left. But, would you stand there? Would you be brave enough to stand there and watch that fireball come in? Or would you take the easy way out? Or the chicken way out? Interesting. I think this Thursday, Paul Bigley and Mike are supposed to be talking about time dilation. And I'm curious, I'm really ready to listen to this. Because, uh, interesting stuff. You know, I'm gonna, let's talk about time dilation for a little bit. Science. And Einstein's theory here. Might be interesting. There was this one gentleman, it's a science deal. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna talk about this, and he explained it in real simple terms because. Sometimes when people try to explain this, people don't get it. So, let's try to do this real easy. Say there's two clocks. And I'm sure everybody knows what Pong was. You know the Pong where you played Pong on the electronic games where the ball went back and forth originally? But say this ball's going up and down every second. Okay? And say you got these two clocks together. And you start them counting. One second, two, three, four, all the way up to 10, and both of them are the same, okay? Stop them at 10 seconds, okay? So both the clocks were the same, okay? Now, we're gonna do another one. This time we're gonna put them side by side again, but one of them, it's gonna be on a little train track. And it's gonna start moving. But it's going to start to move at the speed, move at the speed of light, okay? Now, we're gonna start the clocks out again. Both clocks start. And uh, both of them start counting. Both of them are in sync together, one, two, three, but then something happens. The clock that's moving starts slowing down. So we'll just say, for example, we stop everything at the first clock that was stationary. We stop it at eight seconds, but the clock that was moving at the speed of light is now at four seconds. So, time slowed down. Think about that for a second. It was in a containment. So, I had a thought about something. Now this is where it gets interesting. Then they did this, when I seen this, this got me thinking about a whole nother idea. What if you could use that as a force field? Now, how did I come to that conclusion? EE e. Arts needs to get in on this one. <laughs> and they need to get in on this one. If, for example, the energies, which 
we'll just say the biokinetic energy or chai or chi or however you want to pronounce it say somebody throws the energy out at you and say you have a quartz crystal watch on and say that watch jumps back two hours well that means for this to by what this deal about what Einstein said that means you would have to be in a containment field your energy would have to be traveling faster and be and not, and not the other one wouldn't be basically the other one would be stationary to the other people or whoever was around you so would that be like a force field then too because think about that for an instant look at look at get the crown where's he at oh see i think there we go yeah you landed over there way over there cool i told you he likes to get over there he gets on the other stump over there sometimes mm -hmm. but it made me think about something so if you had that energy say your biokinetic energy was different than somebody else's energy and say they threw that energy out at you not in a good way though but the watch jumped back two hours <laughs> you got me thinking of a whole nother deal now this goes in a whole nother direction very interesting stuff but then i get thinking what, what would the capability be if you could generate that you could actually generate a force field i mean think about this for an instance so i mean if something was coming at you like that it would actually be able to it's almost like i don't know how i would explain it just think about it for a minute But I will say this, that person would be traveling a lot faster than the other ones. Definitely so. A lot more advanced. I always thought that, but seeing this just in the last week here, it made me think a few more things on everything. And after seeing this small video, it gave me a whole nother thought about all this. We could also talk about this CME and the micro nova that they talk about. I've always had thoughts about what this energy and what some people call their ascension is all about. <laughs> Just a theory. You know, if somebody, you know, it's just like anything, if you're an engineer, sometimes it's good to have backup, backup systems, one, two, just in case something goes wrong, you know? That's what you gotta think about there. What if that, what if, say, wherever we came from, somebody thought of that? And say, depending on you know, what the people have in this biokinetic energy and the rest, what if it was there to be like a field that would jump? But not all of them had that same energy. Now, see, that gets into other things because we get talking about that. And, oh, you know, and then some say that the chai chi or biokinetic energy is all the same i differ on that i believe that the energies are different depending on where you actually come from but just a thought you know hypothetical here this for fun you know guys but i got thinking about if somebody was throwing that biokinetic energy out at you and your field of energy 
actually your energy would be traveling faster because if you if you got hit and that quartz crystal detected the energy it would put that watch back two hours that's something i've been looking for for a long time one of the things i was looking to find out about Interesting stuff though. I mean, I believe we all have different energies. I just don't believe that they're all the same. You know, it's just like a suspicious observer today showed, he was showing out there out out there in space where kind of like our currents underneath the ocean they i guess one of their i guess it was a satellite i don't know if it was a telescope or whatever detected and they could actually see it looks like actually like uh deep sea currents flowing which i found interesting myself very interesting But getting back to this energy at hand, I think it would be to save a lot of the people. I think it was built in to that. Me and my son, we had this conversation several years ago about that. But just thinking, interesting stuff that. When all this does come down, I don't believe there is any exact place to be. And uh, I'll put it this way for sure. Suspicious observers got it right. There's no doubt it will be luck of the draw wherever you're at. You cannot run and hide in a cave or whatever else to get away from this. And I sure wouldn't want to be down there. <laughs> Not here, buddy. Now, I might, I might go out. I might go out to Mexico or Colorado somewhere else. Of course, Colorado. I don't know. I don't like Colorado myself. It's nothing personal. It's just I know that they uh, dumped a lot of nuclear waste there. I mean, if it made a disaster happen, I mean, nobody talks about this anymore either. But you got to understand something. They were using. They were using Colorado to dump massive nuclear waste out there. Okay, like in a, if I don't know where it was being dumped at. But if for some ungodly thing something happened and the earth all started to shift everywhere, I wouldn't want to be anywhere around all that nuclear byproduct. I'll put it that way. So, anyway guys, just a short little video get a chance get out and get a walk in and eyes open have a good one